And this, uh, so sorry, this is a plot. So trajectory is uh, the helical trajectory. Now we also have x y labels. So I mean, so you know, at x equal to zero, I start with value one, and y is zero and z is zero. Okay. So this is a particle in a magnetic field. So uh, I I have not put arrow, but you can also put arrow. Python allows you to put arrow at some given point. It's more complicated, but you have to read up. But it's possible. Now this is I have not shown you the code, but these are elliptical orbits of planets. Okay, but then polar coordinates, r theta coordinates. So you can look at the notes to how to make uh, these polar plots. So you have to choose axis equal to polar, I think. Now let's look at histogram. We can also make histograms. So histogram is that uh, I have. A, Data and I can sample them in different bins. So I create a x random uh, variable x, which is random, but with so this is this function creates random numbers of Gaussian profile. Rand n is n for normal, okay, normal distribution. Now I will not teach you, but you should look at uh, Wikipedia if you don't know about normal distribution. So normal, normal distribution is Gaussian, like like this. Okay. Now this one will create with the zero mean and standard deviation of one. Okay. Now, but I want to change my standard deviation and average. So this one average is 0.5. Each standard deviation remains the same. Okay. I didn't change it, uh, so it's one. Okay. Now we generate uh, hundred thousand points. Okay. Now uh, we create this fixed size, uh, fixed object. Number of bins I choose is 50. So it will generate these numbers, and now the code itself will decide what should be the. I mean, it takes the minimum and maximum and makes the bins. Okay. Now you don't need to specify uh, bin, though. If you do it, uh, I mean, if you look at the documentation, you'll find you can also choose the bins, but. Uh, Best to avoid it. Okay, so just use standard ones. So number of bins is fifty. So if from x bin to x max, it's going to just divide into fifty bins, and then it will plot. So plt dot hist. So this will create this histogram. Okay, now it's not very smooth because you choose fifty bins. If you would let's say five hundred bins uh, with more points, then it'll be a nice Gaussian. Now uh, we can make an animation. So uh, this fxt. So uh, animation is a function of time. So this thing will be moving in time. Okay. Now the function which is uh, animated is exponential minus x minus bt squared by sigma squared. Okay. So this for different times. Okay. Now you can see that at the t equal to zero, this is uh, Gaussian. At uh, x equal to zero, p at x equal to zero. Right, is Gaussian like that. Now, as, as time progresses, then the peak will shift to the right. Right. So, at equal to one and b equal to one, uh, the peak will be at x equal to one. Hmm? So, and the standard deviation of this is sigma. Sigma. Now, the code I took it took is created by Jake uh, Wonderplus. So, I just modified the code a bit, but this is uh, his code. So you can see that uh, okay. Now this uh, we import uh, animation package from Matplotlib. Now the function is sitting here. Animation dot function animate. So animate a function. Um, you put in a fig. So animate is that iterative function. So we have this function, but I need to tell at what different times what they are. So look at this. So my x is from minus two to two with hundred points. Y is at uh, x minus point oh one uh, star i squared. Okay. My I choose my standard deviation as uh, b is one, right? So b is point one, so it is going to be b squared is point oh one. Okay. Uh, 
and uh, i is like time okay so given time is going to iterate so i could use variable p but anyway i use i here and uh, it will put this on x comma y is two arrays and return line i i don't quite know why this is a comma here i i okay so returns line so it it, it just goes on now initial condition also is required so initial condition is 0 0 so initial set data and uh, we start initial uh, initial is we just set the make two arrays okay now um, yeah so we initially is going to come from here the well, initial condition will come up here this initialize so it's not the initial condition is initialize so initialize the data okay so now uh, fig animate now initial function is in it uh, this one, and it's really uh, it's just setting the initial uh, x, y arrays. Two hundred frames. I have two hundred frames in that whole uh, thing. An interval is twenty milliseconds. So interval is in milliseconds. Okay. Now, so these frames will keep changing in every twenty milliseconds. Okay. Now we can. So once enemy, this enemy is uh, already created. I can. Save it in a GIF file, GIF file, and uh, you encode it. So this, uh, I mean, this file is there. But if you run a movie, then it will be encoded using this uh, writer. Okay, it's called in uh, Pillow Writer. Okay? There's some more writers are available, but uh, this is a writer we use. Okay? Now this part of the code. I mean, there are more things in the code, but I just took uh, pieces of it. And uh, so this is uh, at uh, t equal to zero. And, and I play it. There's something is odd here. I don't know why, but uh, so the last frame is here. Okay, last frame is da, 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 da. last frame is when the peak reaches two. Gaussian, this is two. So I should, if I set minus two to two, then you see this is nice Gaussian. Uh, but it's shifting to the right. But it's not periodic. Huh? I mean, the, well, the this uh, movie player is uh, repeating this. Um, yeah, so this is how you create this uh, animation. Okay. And zip file, you can see that all the 200 frames are stored. I mean, uh, uh, I can show you that uh, zip file. Uh, where is that the zip file? So what is it? Uh, so this Gaussian or GIF file. So if I click this one, so there are all these twenty files are here. So these are different snapshots. Okay. So all these uh, different snapshots here, and basically the movie player is just. So in fact, that's how movies played. No, I mean um, all the frames are stored. And uh, they are just shift I mean, every 20 milliseconds, the frame changes. So that gives you an impression in your eye that you're playing a movie. But it's not, movie is nothing but sequence of frames. And they're coming quickly so that you see that things are, we, are, we kind of feel that it's moving. That's the idea of, anyway, this idea of feature film as well. So that's. Uh, Okay, so that's that's it for today.